National Golden Globe Finals in St. Louis this year. And uh, without Budweiser's support, both locally and nationally, really the, the uh, Golden Gloves would have an awful tough time of it. So they do a great job for amateur boxing, not only in, uh, in Syracuse, but throughout the country. All right. Well, very appropriate that the Nationals this year, the finals should be in St. Louis. This yep. should be a war, Jack. Here we go with the 132-pound lightweight open class championship at the 1984 New York State Golden Gloves. This one features Harold Loving against Mark Fiorini, Joe's little brother, Harold. And we've already talked about the Fiorini influence. Mark from the Syracuse Friends of Boxing, Harold from Baden Street, of course, Rochester Boxing Club. 132 or the lightweight category or the international weight 60 kilos so Harold loving and that's Harold right. got lucky last night Jack he won a close controversial decision over Greg Young of Albany Young came out and won I thought the first two rounds Harold came out and put on a great show in the third round and stole it from the judges that really shouldn't happen when you win two uh, when you lose two rounds and only win one round but uh, he did such a convincing job and dominated his opponent in the third round and took them out here they go. This should be a real scrap. He knew what he had to do. Fiorini, Mark. a real good power puncher. And Harold, a real good little boxer. Mark Fiorini with his back toward the camera. Harold Loving, H-A-R-R-Y-L. <laughs> Fiorini with a right. Fiorini with some combinations. He's down. And down is Loving. Harold's in real trouble. Real trouble. The defending novice champion, Mark Fiorini, obviously, that's it. Tony Fiorini stops the bout in the first round. It's all over. Mark Fiorini wins it. Referee stops contest. Just that quickly, Jack. It's all over. And Tony Filippelli is one man. He's the third man in the ring. Uh, he's really, he's been around. Let's he talk knows. about Tony Filippelli, the referee. Tony Filippelli has worked ABC uh, uh, Wide World of Sports. He's worked international competition over uh, throughout the world. He is one of only eight international refs in the United States, and he's one of only two referees from the country that has been invited to participate at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympic Games. It just doesn't come any better. He's right here in our own backyard in Utica, New York, one of the very best referees. All right, so when he stopped it, he knew about it. And there's a happy Tom Calder in the corner with Mark Fiorini. Referee Filippelli indicating it's an RSCH, which means head. That means that Harold cannot box for the next the 30 very days. very thing we were talking about. And it the defending novice champion last year in the 1983 New York State Golden Gloves. So he came back this year to repeat. And uh, interestingly enough, we were talking about that just before the tournament. I think this marks the first time that a Syracuse boxer has won a novice championship and come back and won the Open Championship the succeeding year. All right, and he was the first one to have the chance to do it in our Open competition tonight. Matter of fact, Jeff Sanderson and Frank Lyles are up in the next two bouts, so they'll have chances to do it as well. In the meantime, the combatants were out in the center of the ring, and so they shall return. Harold Loving. On the right, Mark Fiorini raising his hands in victory, but hugging his worthy opponent. That's nice to see, Jack. And I'm glad Harold's okay. Well, I most definitely. He took a real shot, but he'll be back. He's a fine little boxer. All right, that's the 